So I was going to make a video here on converting from a round chisel chain to a square chisel chain. So as you can see, this is a brand new loop of Oregon um, EXJ. It's got a full chisel cutter. It's got a round profile on the, on the cutter teeth. You can see this one comes, this one's got a brand new fresh factory round grind on it. Um, I'm going to show you the process of converting this uh, to a square cutter. The important part is that it's the full, is that it's a full chisel on there versus like a semi-chisel style tooth that the back of that tooth is rounded. It needs to be, in order to do a square cutter, it has to have the full chisel. So I'm going to run this through here um, and show you what the profile will look like when we're done. And it uh, converts it from that round from that round profile that um, I had showed you earlier on the other cutter to a square. So anyway, I'll um, work through this process here and then I'll show you what that tooth looks like. There's your process of grinding it, and as you can see, it it has now gone from that round profile, I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, to a nice square profile on that tooth. Compared to what that, you can see what that factory round grind is, that's now converted, converted to a square grind. So, Anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, that's what that process looks like on the Symington grinder. Um, you can do it by hand. I've done it a couple of times by hand with a file. Converting from round to square on a, on a, with a file is really tough. Um, I've done it a couple of times. It really w helps to square off with a flat file the front of that and then work your file through. But, Anyway, that's just the process. Wanted to show that to you. So anyway, hope that helps on uh, you converting round chains to square chains.